They're all over the globe, neighborhoods just like this. Each day, these ramshackle shanties are filled with fear and desperation. Even a dilapidated van can be a place where an entire family lay their heads to rest every night. For Ricardo, his wife and six children, this is home. The Colonia is single mother Claudia's neighborhood. At the moment, times have been tough. She faces the frightening reality that she doesn't have a roof of any kind to shelter her four kids. But the struggle of being poor is nothing compared to the poverty of a soul without Jesus Christ. How would you feel if you were you didn't even hear God's name in your entire life and that's why you didn't get to go to heaven because no one told it to you? Everybody I see, I just I just want to tell them. Global Expedition's heart breaks for the lost. Every year in countries all over the world, Global Expeditions reaches into the lives of people who are desperate and without Jesus. He got hurt on the foot on the uh, country working. Y tuvieron que cortarle parte de, <coughs> del pie y un dedo. Oh, they had to amputate part of the uh, foot. And her house it was uh, made out of panels of wood, like pieces of wood. Y una pared de la casa de Claudia estaba yeah. casi por caer. And one of the um, walls on the side is, was kind of like falling down. Amassing an army is daunting, but fueled by the Holy Spirit, Global Expeditions is determined to meet the physical needs of people while sharing the message of Christ's love with the hammering of every nail. What I'm doing right now is I was hanging the windows and we're getting ready to go up on the roof and lay the paper and then lay the, um, the shingles out. In South Africa, Colin discovered that cleaning the homes of local tribesmen changed his life and his summer. I know exactly what I'd be doing if I was there. We always go to my friend's house, and I just end up sitting there on the couch watching TV for the rest of the night, you know? The gospel is something that has to be spread. People need to hear and see. By sitting on your couch watching TV, you know, you're just sitting there wasting the days that God gave you. On some trips, the key to reaching the lost is hard work and sweat. On others, it's evangelism or the Jesus film. We just came over here and just shared the gospel. We just prayed that the Holy Spirit would just fill their lives and they, they'd be changed. They may have a clear understanding of God's word and, and what it means to have a relationship with him. Locking arms with others who have a passion for God will impact you forever. We may not be in uniform, we may not be uh, in camouflage on the outside, but spiritually on the inside, we, we are warriors. The leaders are awesome. I personally think I got the best ever. <laughs> there are uh, tons of conversations, just how God is working in your life as well as those around you. It's life-changing experience. You get to go out there and you get to try things. And um, you're with people that know what they're doing. And they're not going to put you in harm. They're going to take care of you. In the end, the time spent on a global expedition's adventure changes lives. It's impossible to go to the front lines without being affected yourself and being amazed by all God will do. It's been like overwhelming, like how hungry the people are for God and how willing they are to listen to what we have to say. A blind lady was healed, her eye was healed, a deaf lady, she had um, about 80% hearing loss and she was completely restored. 75 salvations, a broken leg was healed, the most incredible things I've ever seen. People have been coming up during the ministry saying, you've like made my life. Thank you for coming here. You've blessed me so much. God has just moved in such a way in my heart and in the heart of those around me that, that I know that there's nothing else out there that I want. Global expeditions from the jungles of Panama to the rice paddies of Thailand, from the outback of Africa to the inner cities of America. Will you go?